Hi everyone and welcome back. Today is the release by my favorite things for the month of December. It's packed with wonderful stamps and dies just like always, so I thought it would be fun to create a card showcasing some of my favorites. I'm starting out with a gorgeous die from this release. This is called Bold Beautiful and it cuts out a panel, as you can see, that you can use to create a window card can be turned into a shaker card, you can even cut out all those different letters from different colored cardstock and put everything together again to create a colorful uh, layout. There are so many different ways that you can use this die to put together a card. Now I'm carefully separating everything so you can see all the different pieces that you get and I'm not going to throw away all those little bits on my right, I will use them later on on top of my card to fill in different gaps. I have added some double-sided tape at the back of my panel and I'm going to add on top a piece of acetate. Now you can easily turn this design into a shaker card, however I'm not going for a shaker card today, I just want to create a window card. So I'm going to place that at the back and then at the front I'm going to stick the outline of the word beautiful that my die cut out. It's really easy to put everything together since this is going to fit uh, beautifully inside those gaps. Now I'm going to use some uh, uh, glue, white glue, and I'm going to stick the inside pieces so that uh, my word is readable. For that I will use my Nouveau Deluxe glue and just stick all those little bits and pieces inside. Now the idea here is to keep the actual word transparent and just fill in all the in-between gaps. But you can also go for a completely different look, color in all the letters with different colors and put everything together like a puzzle to create a very colorful look. Now to embellish my card I'm going to use some uh, stamps from the new release. This is a stamp set uh, that's called uh, Tweet Friends. It's the most adorable stamp set, you need to check it out. It has uh, about four Yes, it has four little birdies that are absolutely cute. Some of them are singing and some of them are just standing there, like the one that I chose to work with. And uh, I'm also going to stamp a couple of leaves, some flowers, as well as a tiny little mushroom. Now I'm going to color them in with my alcohol markers and then use my uh, die cutting machine to cut out everything with the matching dies. And you can see here that I have all my little images cut out. Now I'm creating a panel that I'm going to put behind the word beautiful. So I will combine three Distress Oxide inks. I'm going from yellow to orange to pink. The colors that I'm working with are squeezed lemonade, spiced marmalade and warm lipstick. Most of this is going to be covered up by the panel that I will place on top so it doesn't have to be the perfect blending. So I'm happy with how it looks now. I will add some uh, water splashes just to make it more interesting looking. And then I'm going to put my two panels together. I'm using uh, white glue at the back of my beautiful panel, place it on top where I want it to fall and then I'll just use my scissors to cut off the excess. Now of course at this stage if you want you can add foam tape at the back and create a pocket where you can add your um, shaker mix to turn it into a shaker card. And of course this card is uh, gorgeous as it is, however I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to add some embellishments on top of it. So here I'm just playing around, trying to decide where everything is going to fall and then I'm going to stick them down with my white glue. In the new release there is a small stamp set which is called Hello Beautiful and it is packed only with sentiments that complete the word beautiful so you can uh, mix and match the sentiments to create beautiful ones. I will use the one that says hello from this stamp set but you can also use uh, Make Today, For My Beautiful Friend, Every Year You Get More, I Love It When You Call Me, so many different options here. For this card I'm going to just stamp the word hello at the top of the letter B to complete my sentiment. And then finally I used yellow cardstock to create my card base that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. I'm going to stick my panel on top and my card is ready. And that was a project for today showcasing products from the latest release by my favorite things. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired 
Make sure to check out the new release by MFT. You will love the new products. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.